Tree diagrams illustrate all the different possible outcomes of a sequence of events. Each branch in the tree shows a possible outcome of an event and the probability of that outcome. If two events are independent, the outcome of one has no effect on the outcome of the other. We can calculate the probability of a sequence of outcomes by finding the product of the probabilities along the branches. For example, for a coin tossed twice, the following tree diagram will give all the possible outcomes. The first time the coin is tossed, the result could be head or tail. The second time the coin is tossed, the result could also be head or tail. The possible outcomes of two coins being tossed are head-head or head-tail or tail-head or tail-tail. Example 1. Two identical bags are filled with balls. Bag A contains three pink and two yellow balls. Bag B contains five pink and four yellow balls. It is equally likely that bag A or bag B is chosen. Each ball has an equal chance of being chosen from the bag. A bag is chosen at random, and a ball is then chosen at random from the bag. A. Represent the information using a tree diagram. Clearly indicate the probability associated with each branch of the tree diagram and write down all the outcomes. B. Use the tree diagram to determine the probability that a yellow ball is chosen from bag A. C. Use the tree diagram to determine the probability that a pink ball will be chosen. In A, you are asked to represent the information using a tree diagram. You are also asked to indicate clearly the probability associated with each branch of the tree diagram and write down all the outcomes. We start off by drawing a tree diagram and filling in the probabilities along the branches. Step 1. Start off with two branches representing bag A and bag B. The probability of choosing bag A is 1 out of 2, and the probability of choosing bag B is also 1 out of 2. Step 2. Determine the probabilities of choosing a pink or a yellow ball. In bag A, there are three pink and two yellow balls, so the probability of choosing a pink ball from bag A is 3 out of 5 and the probability of choosing a yellow ball from bag A is 2 out of 5. In bag B there are 5 pink and 4 yellow balls, so the probability of choosing a pink ball from bag A is 5 out of 9, and the probability of choosing a yellow ball from bag B is 4 out of 9. Add in two branches to represent the pink and yellow balls. Add in three-fifths, two-fifths, five-ninths, and four-ninths along the branches. Because the events are independent, we can use the product rule to determine the number of outcomes. So, the probability of choosing a pink ball from bag A is one-half times three-fifths. The probability of choosing a yellow ball from bag A is one-half times two-fifths. The probability of choosing a pink ball from bag B is one-half times five-ninths, and the probability of choosing a yellow ball from bag B is one-half times four-ninths. Solution. In B, you are asked what the probability is that a yellow ball is chosen from bag A. Because the events are independent, we can use the product rule to determine the probability. We write the probability that a yellow ball is chosen from bag A as the probability of A and Y. Using the product rule, this is equal to the probability of choosing bag A times the probability of choosing yellow. This is equal to a half times 2 over 5, which gives the answer one-fifth or 20%. 
Solution. In C, you are asked what the probability is that a pink ball will be chosen. A pink ball can be selected from both bag A and bag B. Using the product rule, the probability that a pink ball is chosen from bag A, that is, the probability of choosing A and P, is a half times three fifths, which equals three over ten. The probability that a pink ball is chosen from bag B, that is, the probability of choosing B and P, is one half times five over nine, which equals five over eighteen. Because the two events are mutually exclusive, we can use the addition rule to add the two probabilities and get the probability of 26 over 45 or 57,8%.